In this video, we will solve the following rational inequality by using our graphing calculator. The first step is to select the y equals button in the top left hand corner of your calculator. From there, we want to enter in just our rational expression part. We're going to leave the inequality for later. The key to entering in rational expressions or equations into our calculator is we must make sure that the calculator knows 2x minus 4 is in the numerator and 6x plus 18 is in our denominator. The way we indicate that is by making sure to add parentheses around our numerator and parentheses around our denominator. Now the calculator knows we want to perform 2x minus 4 first, and all of that is in the numerator. It's all above our division sign. And perform 6x plus 18 as one step together, and all of that's in our denominator. So when we graph this, we will see the graph of our rational inequality, our rational equation. And the vertical line on this calculator is our asymptote. On the newer operating systems, they won't show you that line at all. So the asymptote is not a part of your graph. It's just saying you have a vertical asymptote at negative 3. That's our excluded value. That's the value that we cannot have. You can also see that represented in your table. So since table is in blue, if we press second and graph, now we can see our table. So if we scroll back to negative 3, we have an error because that's our asymptote. So for our rational inequality, we want to know where is this graph less than or equal to zero. So where are the y values for our graph zero or negative? So if we look at our graph, our values are negative in this section all the way up to here, positive two. Positive two is our x-intercept. If we can't see that from the graph, we can go to our table as well. And in your table, you'll see that when x is two, your y value is zero. This value comes from the numerator. The numerator represents our x-intercept once we solve it for z and set it equal to zero. Our denominator gives us our asymptote. So when we're doing interval notation, we always go from left to right. So from here, where our first x value is negative three. And we're gonna have parentheses on negative three. Our x value can never be equal to negative 3 because that's our vertical asymptote. And it continues, the y values continue being negative or less than 0 all the way up until the value of 2. Now 2, we're going to use a bracket on that because we can actually be equal to 0. When x is 2, your result is 0. So another way of seeing this, we can actually enter in our inequality. So if we go back to y equals, we scroll to the end of our statement. We want to go to the test menu. So since test is in blue, we have to press the second button and then math. We want less than or equal to, so that's option number six, and less than or equal to zero. Now what your calculator would do was to test each of these y values to see is it really less than or equal to zero. And it's only going to show you the graph where that statement is true. So we click graph. And as you can see, it just shows this intersection. So from negative 3 to positive 2. Now you still have to make sure to pay attention to whether your value should be excluded or included in order to have your correct signs.